Hi, I'm Supermoon Tarot, and in today's video, I'm talking to my Tauruses. Hello, Taurus. The way this video is going to work is the first half is going to be checking in with your energy and the story behind that, and the second half is going to be checking in with you and another's energy and the story behind that. This is mostly for my sun signs, but moon and rising are always welcomed. This is just about the message resonating. So let's get started with your energy. Okay. And let's look at the story behind that. Well, yeah, that makes sense. Oh. All right. Interesting. I am so curious when we get to the energy of the other person like what's going on with that but yeah it almost feels like there's another person influencing this situation but we are mostly talking about you and your energy so let's get started with that so first off we have this going on up here we have the two of wands well this is you thinking about like what do i want what do i hope for one day it's feeling very dreamy you're thinking about things but unfortunately before you've even really gotten a chance to enjoy or reach out seek out it almost seems like from what i can see you've already sought it out from the very beginning of this planning and dreaming and wanting whoever you're in contact with it's just how do I put this? When you have a Six of Pentacles situation in reverse, this could either be someone taking advantage of you and your energy, and they're like aware of it and they're using you, or it just feels like on your personal end, you feel like you're wasting it. And this could be a variety of reasons. This could be because you feel like this person isn't worth it, or maybe you just feel like you're not spending your energy in the kind of way you hope to. Either way, the energy and resources, whatever that may be, that can include your emotions as well, are just being run rapid in a way where you feel like you need to put up some boundaries. You're aware of that. This is where you came from, somebody who had a bunch of boundaries, and it took a lot for you to be able to be like, well, I don't know, should I, you know, cross my wall? Should I pass it? Is it worth going in this journey? And unfortunately, this circumstance makes you regret it and kind of feel the sense of like, oh, I wish I was back to my dreamy side. Like I had all these hopes and dreams. Something's, something's not working out. I'm kind of in, uh, I'm lost and I'm confused. But I need to see more cards before I full on can say like this person is taking advantage of you or something like that. Because it doesn't really focus on the other person. It's more focused on you, especially when we have the story situation going on over here. So over here we have five of cups. This just shows this sense of grief, loss. And that makes sense when we have the ten of cups in reverse. Something's just totally the opposite of what you were hoping for. Um, I do want to point out that it's interesting that you got the ten of cups in reverse situation. In some cases when it involves somebody else, it talks about the idea of presenting a false sense of happiness to other people and be like oh yep everything's fine and you just kind of keep sweeping problems over the rug and clearly there are problems that are big enough to you that it's causing this form of this this feeling inside you but either way the thing that really like hurts my heart for you is when we have a nine of cups in uh, in reverse situation which is going on this is something that you wanted and you technically received. Again, we talk about the wanting, the desires, the plans. But when it's in reverse, there's a catch. And clearly this catch has been big enough that it's caused you this much grief going on over here. We see a bit of that catch with the wasted energy, but I don't feel like the wasted... It's like wasted energy is like a byproduct of the core issue going on. So it's kind of that moment where you're taking a second, to, you're looking back at, I don't want to say the past, but you're thinking about like, what is it that I really wanted? Why did it, what, what's happening here? I'm so confused. I'm so lost. Is this what I want? But I still do. I don't know. Now, the good news is this is going to change. And I'm excited for you because this is a lot of confusing emotions. You're not even quite sure where to begin in order to fix it. And to be honest with you, I'm not being given a pinpoint to be able to express that to you but I can tell you where it's going. When we have the Hermit card in reverse, it's this feeling of isolation. I think it's really funny that they said isolation because this is clearly referring to you and another person, but either way, there's a sense of isolation and you leaving that 
isolation in or and and and, uh, and going out and being more social and being with other people. It doesn't necessarily mean a confirmed like breakup. And we'll see if we like look in the other cards if this is the same scenario going on. But either way. It's just this idea that you're going to be more social. And it's a compliment to you that the time that you've had while you were isolated, or we could say in this current situation, you've figured some stuff out. So the woes are not a complete loss. They've helped you better understand, well, if I want the thing that I want, what are the catches? What are the little details of my planning in the beginning that needed to be properly ironed out that I didn't even know I needed to contemplate or ask for i'm better understanding myself and what i want and then we have you moving towards the knight of wands i am being told by my spirit guide that this is somebody else but the thing that's so funny about it is the tone is not necessarily another romantic offer it just feels like there's somebody else like they're bringing fun and passion into your life and it's a total 180 from where you felt before you're no longer caught in your woes you're caught in the fun and, and feeling excited about life so this could feel like another friend or a social situation and sometimes we need that when we're kind of like caught up in this scenario we just need another person a part of the party so to speak so let's look at the energy going on with this other person oh Oh, oh, okay, 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 this makes so much more sense, okay, okay, I'm excited, I actually have some really great happy stuff for you um, that can actually fix this current problem, so this isn't, that makes sense why you got the Nine of Cups, because the Nine of Cups almost implies like despite all these woes and these issues that, and, and you didn't anticipate some of these problems uh, coming about, and the Six of Pentacles is like you trying to like fix it, and you're not quite sure how to do it, and you feel like all your energy is being spent and wasted, this makes sense why this is the person that you really care about and you want to keep being with and it it almost implies like it could be solved it isn't worth giving up necessarily yet okay we can get into this i love this for you so over here is the three of pentacles of showing like uh, things are not going so great right now in the relationship and it seems like you're putting on a brave front with other people you're speaking really well of them and a lot of that is genuine and honest like the compliments you have to give about this other person are real you do really think these things about them but there's almost this you're out of your comfort zone maybe you're not quite ready to handle like how intense and all the it's it's like you're just like it's more about you defending this private something not quite working out in the relationship to other people because you're afraid of people thinking ill of this person you care about even though things are a bit of like need some ironing out but we can actually get way more specific to how to solve the issue because I can see in the tower in reverse, this has been an issue for some time and we can finally see the confirmation of it ending and we can talk about the solution. So when we have a three of pentacles in reverse uh, situation, this is when a couple benefits from socializing with other people. That is why the Knight of Wands had the tone it did. It doesn't mean about you going out and having a more open relationship. I mean, like, teach their own. You're, like, welcome to do that. And the Hierophant can refer to maybe you guys would benefit from having a more open relationship. That I mean, you know what I mean? Like, everybody works the way they work, and there's no wrong or right way. But it's more like the idea of, like, sometimes too much alone time can be just simply so smoothed out by like being able to be take on new um, interests and parties together and you go be social with a bunch of group other people and then you come back at the end of the night excited to talk about all the things of being like you share i talked to this person they said this and then that per and then your significant other says oh i talked to this person they said this and then it's kind of like the missing factor that then magically smooths everything else out that's why it feels so confusing because these problems can't necessarily be fixed with a sit down open up they're not closing up they're they're not trying to manipulate you. Nothing's necessarily wrong. It's just like a rowdiness from being too isolated with each other. And you guys will just benefit really well from being more social with other people. But you can do this together with a group of other people. It doesn't have to be an isolated event where you spend less time with each other. It can as well. 
But I'm just putting that comfort zone out there. It's not necessarily about being without each other. It's just about being with other people as well, no matter the circumstance. So we love that. That's where the Hierophant pops up. The Hierophant Reverse talks about your relationship benefiting from an unconventional way that it's lived. Many people, when they view relationship, they're like, okay, I'm with this other person. It's just me and them against the world. And with this in the Hierophant, it's like, actually, you guys do really well and kind of are even more in love with each other if you go and socialize and then share that with one another. You guys really kind of almost feed off of other people's energy and then bring that back into the relationship. And that seems to solve all the problems that in any other circumstance and any other group of two people, it would need to be discussed. It would need to be worked out. There would need to be open heart to heart. Not you guys. It's just a different way of handling things and it works for you guys, which we love. But that sense of not being aware of it and closed off comes up in the Ace of Cups in reverse and the Nine of Wands in um, upright. These problems can be solved, but I'm just pointing out what's there. So over here, we have the Eight of Cups feeling like unwilling to try this out. Like there's a fear and a trust issue popping up with other people. You're afraid other people are going to see that you guys are having issues, but you're kind of, it's basically saying you're going to need to shift and change that. That perspective you have and the view you think that other people take about your relationship or whatever has been an issue. That's like the problem more than the actual problems going on in the relationship. And that needs to change. And it is going to change. Because when you guys go out together, it no one's going to be making backhanded comments t between the two of you. No one's going to be noticing or changing anything. And it's just going to magically smooth itself out. That concept gets repeated over here. With the Five of Wands, I'm so happy you and this other person got the Five of Wands, not the Five of Swords. Five of Wands is just kind of when you're butting heads and you kind of both can't back down on your personal beliefs or systems. And that doesn't necessarily mean something bad. It just means you've hit a point where you can't go forward anymore in the way you're handling situations and handling the discussions now. That's why there's the, the concept of being introduced of introducing like a third party, other people to come hang out with you and smooth out everything out and work itself out and almost let this, uh, these ways of handling this situation to rest finally. But because there isn't like a perfect rainbow road right now and it does feel like that, you know, figuring stuff out, sort of almost aggressive argumentative style of figuring things out, that's where the defensiveness comes in the nine of wands. This is somebody who's like afraid of having, like see how you're defending it. You're like afraid of anyone seeing it. You're putting up a barricade because again, you care about this other person. This is someone you had hoped for and you are more comfortable. We go back to the, over here, the two of wands. You're more comfortable with putting up walls. That's what you're familiar with, but you don't have to do that. It might be difficult at first because it's not what you're familiar with, but I promise you, you and this other person and everyone involved is going to be a lot happier off. I know you want to be alone only with this person most of the majority of the time, but you're going to be so happy with a different route than you had anticipated experiencing with them. And in the term, in the long term, have not only issues figured out, but feel closer with them. Feel like, oh, wait, that catch is just about hanging out with other people. I don't know if that's necessarily a bad thing and then realize it's something you didn't even plan for but you end up enjoying in the end so yay <laughs> we love that for you and this other person so yeah i hope you enjoyed this reading as much as i did please give the video a like comment subscribe it helps out the channel like you would not believe have a beautiful day i will see you in the next one wishing you the best <laughs>